and welcome back to Miss Kelly's Storytime. Today we are reading Mind Your Manners by Diane Good because we have to remember to be good at Thanksgiving dinner, don't we? If you are ever invited to dine with the Abbots, always remember to mind your manners. Come not to the table without having your hands and face washed and your head combed. Sit not down till thou art bidden by thy parents or superiors. Be sure thou sittest down in thy due place. Be not the first that begins to eat. Bend thy body a little downward to thy plate when thou movest anything to thy mouth. Make not a noise with thy tongue, mouth, lips, or breath in eating or drinking. Find no fault with anything that is given thee. Throw not anything under the table. Look not earnestly on any one that is eating. Spit not, cough not, nor blow thy nose at the table, if it may be avoided. But if there be necessity, do it aside and without much noise. Bite not thy bread, but break it. Blow not thy meat, but with patience wait until it be cool. Offer not to carve for thyself, or to take anything, though it be that, which thou dost greatly desire. Smell not of thy meat, nor put it in thy nose. Hold not thy knife upright in thy hand, but sloping. Gnaw not bones at the table. Grease not thy fingers or napkin more than necessary. Necessity. Nece necessity requires. Pick not thy teeth at the table, unless holding thy napkin before thy mouth with thine other hand. Lean not thy elbow on the table, nor on the back of thy chair. Foul not the napkin all over, but at one corner. If thy superiors be discoursing, meddle not with the matter, but be silent except thou art spoken unto. Drink not, nor speak with anything in thy mouth. Stare not in the face of anyone, especially thy superiors, nor fix thine eye upon the plate of another. Foul not the tablecloth. Spit not forth in anything that is not convenient to be swallowed, as the stones of plums, cherries, or such like, but with thy left hand neatly remove them to the side of thy plate. Eat not too much, but moderately. Stuff not thy mouth so as to fill thy cheeks. Be content with smaller mouthfuls. Frown not, nor murmur, if there be anything at the table which thy parents or strangers with them care eat of, whilst thou hast none given thee. Eat not too fast or with greedy behavior. Put not a bite a bit into thy mouth till the former be swallowed. As soon as thou, thou shalt be moderately satisfied, or whenever thy parents bid thee, Rise up from the table, though thy superiors still sit. When thanks are to be returned after eating, return to thy place, and stand reverently till it be done. Then with a bow withdraw from out of the room, unless thou art bidden to stay. And hope that the next time the abbots remember to mind their manners.